Um, you don't like it. It's different. <laughs> it's not bad. I will give like this is not a bad whiskey. Uh, this is single barrel cash strength. So this one, like the problem with Louisiana is I would expect Louisiana would be a lot like Texas in that the whiskey gets a lot of flavor. Now, a lot of flavor from the barrel, a lot of heat. And if you want, if you want that flavor, like in a bourbon, I don't want that. With a rice whiskey, I don't know what a rice whiskey tastes like. So I might want a little more of that um, barrel flavor. Mm. This is all right. This is obviously not a bourbon. I can kind of taste some of that um, sake influence, some of that rice influence to it. Um, it's definitely got some interesting kind of barrel flavor and heat to it. I could see how somebody would like it. I don't think it's bad at all in any way. Like, I think this is actually very interesting. It's just not something I would go back to. But this is also, this also appears to be a barrel pick. So it might be a little off profile, right? So when you go to do a barrel pick, you've got two options. And you'll see it in the uh, video where I went with Spillway. You got two options. You either get the thing that all the bourbon nerds that are there want to drink, or you get the thing that's more mainstream that everybody probably, you know, that they could sell, that people will actually buy. Um, so this seems, I don't know if this is off profile and it's more the, you got to be into this to really love it, or if this is like exactly on profile and exactly the mainstream thing that people want with a rice whiskey. But it's definitely got a little of those kind of, it's not bitter, so the, the oak tannins are not bitter, but I definitely get a little of that kind of raisiny barrel tannin. When you would see Melek, somebody just sent us this one. It arrived in the mail the other day, and it's pretty good. It's not a flavor I'm just going back for a lot, but I could see how somebody could like that. 